Uh, welcome back to Dark Rum Podcast. I'm Turtle. This is Kyle. Here we talk about everything from conspiracies, murder, monsters, mayhem, what have you. Yeah, people die and there's blood on everything. Yeah, okay, that's one way of looking there's at it. There's ghosts everywhere. There probably are. Uh, speaking... Hold your mouth open. There's ghosts inside <laughs> ghost, you. Ghost dick. Uh, um, today we're going to talk about one thing in particular. Skunk apes. Uh, nope. Kind of. I'm, oh, okay, sort of. Bigfoot. Small feet. Nope. Bigfoot. L- little foot. That cartoon? Uh, no. About Bigfoots? I, I was I was that a cartoon? There's a cartoon called Littlefoot. Is, was it good? About Bigfoots. Was it a good cartoon? No. I don't know. Then why are it. we talking about it? Because it's about Bigfoots. Oh, well, okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. Kyle, How want... many names does the Bigfoots have? Uh, like 36. Yes. It's a lot, isn't it? Yes. Then, I don't know. I only wrote down four of them. Okay. Well, what four do you have? I have the Bigfoots, yep. the Sasquatch, yep. the Skunk Apes, okay. the Yeti, yep. and then there's a bunch of Native American words that I can't pronounce. Yes. The the Native Americans have a whole, whole there's plethora. Like, there's like commas and ellipses mm-hmm. and also apostrophes, mm-hmm. and that's just at the first letter, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what those mean. Well, it, it's it's Bigfoot have been spotted. For thousands for, of yeah. years, all of human history, there's 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 stories of big feet, uh, Sasquatch, whatever, what have you, abominable snowmen, all, all over, over the place. The world. Yep, anywhere there's there's forested areas, or we're just talking about American ones, because America, like America. Un- until you started this, I didn't know Skunk Ape was a name for it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's in Florida. They're the stinky ones. I, I heard, think they're a little shorter too. I heard Bigfoot smells from the. They always smell bad, research. but the skunk ape ones yeah. are especially bad. I, I heard that they normally smell like rancid goat. <laughs> so like that's like it's that's, just. I thought it was just rancid meat. I didn't know anything no, about I, goat the, specifically. What is ex ran- sheriff? Everything rancid smells the same. The ex sheriff of the reservation where I where I was uh, from the documentary I was watching. I thought you were out say in Nevada. Was, the, the, said that they smell the smell is rancid goat. That's what he likened it to. I don't know what rancid goat smells like specifically. I know what really bad goat smells like. I can only imagine I know what a worse version. Deer of smell that. Like, worser version. Or dead bear smell like. Or dead frogs smell like. But I don't know what a dead goat smells like. But all those things smell kind of the same. So And they kind of do smell to a certain point real bad. <laughs> um. So what is a Bigfoot? A Bigfoot is a creature from North American folklore. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. That's just what I wrote in my Clearly notes. Clearly, we but know yeah, what we we're already, doing. We already did that. So let's just go over the basic description for those that might not have a good idea in their head. It is a man who's about <laughs> it's this humanoid. tall. Humanoid. Not a man. He is a fuzzy man. He is not a fuzzy man. Depending on what you look at, he's either a fuzzy man or an ape. Or a fuzzy man. He is a... He is our cousin from when we stopped banging monkeys. No. He's the middle one nope. before he got to us. Not correct. That's some of the things. I don't know about that. He, he is the missing link. All right. You say what you think Bigfoot is. Bigfoot is the missing link. He is the monkey man that was before the man man, but after the monkey monkey. Oh, okay. He's about 90 feet tall. But the monkey monkey the is... Monkey. <laughs> you, no, no, I got you referring if to we're gonna, the monkey monkey. If you're going to bring in like evolutionary patterns you got to understand that humanity didn't come from monkeys humanity and monkeys came from the I, same ancestor they came from apes no apes are newer we came ape, from a similar ape-anoids. ancestor yeah like homo sapiens listen came from- i watched that documentary on discovery channel where it was a monkey and then it was a stand in monkey and then it was taller than a monkey and then they had forks all right, well, that documentary was apparently full of shit. That was on Discovery Channel. What are you talking about? Well, that's not... The... I may have breezed through some things. Yeah, did, you, did you glance over some of that transitional like, knowledge? why the monkeys stood up because uh-huh. they were like uh, doing the meerkat thing, looking for people that were going to eat them, like yeah, saber-toothed dinosaurs. Better sight, line of sight for hunting also. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so basic description... Bigfoot are usually tall, usually over six feet. Some go as high as nine or 11 feet, things yeah. like that. Usually hairy, almost always some type of dark or white hair. Well, it's dark like or white, that's all of them. Red, but red, red. <laughs> anywhere between dark hair 
to light hair. All right, no, no purple hair that I know of. <laughs> it's reddish or dark brown yeah. normally. Traditional yeah. fur like you'd expect on an animal. With feet that are about 24 inches long. Yeah, huge eight feet. feet wide. Hence eight, the eight, name. eight feet wide. Eight inches wide. Yeah, hence the name <laughs> Bigfoot. Big feet. Um, they're also incredibly elusive. Um, Nobody's seen them. That's not true. Everyone's seen them, <laughs> and no one has proof of it. It's the damnedest thing. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, sometimes there's proof of it, but then it turns out that that proof was fake. Is dog hair. No, not these upstanding citizens who have witnessed Bigfoot. Or sometimes. Wait, wait. I'd like to start this by saying, I think Bigfoot probably exists. We're being skeptical. But the people that report on Bigfoot, and through my research, some of these stories related to these Bigfoot hunters... <laughs> Make me doubt it in ways I like when they bring me facts. I'm like, I could get behind this until you gave me those facts. Like, I was like, Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're small populations. You're not going to see them. Yeah. I mean, there's hundreds of creatures that get found every day that are brand new that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah. Um, he walked through an interdimensional portal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he. <laughs> There's vortexes where they cross through onto <laughs> our plane. <laughs> like, so there's there's many reasons for why people think that nobody knows where yeah. Bigfoot is. But and mostly, it's because it's a monkey, and it's in the trees, and you just yeah. don't see it. And they naturally camouflaged. Their fur tends to match their surroundings. That's why some are white in the snowier areas, yeah. some are They also have a tendency red. to live in like really vast areas that people Huge can't really old search. woods. Like the Pacific Northwest, we have not manned most of that area. I was telling it's my almost mom that almost as elusive as the ocean. It's exactly what I told my mom was. You know, the, the amount of just forested land we have no clue about what's there is insane. And just in general, the amount of people that just go missing in the mm-hmm. Pacific Northwest woods. Because it's so easy to get lost. Yeah. So could something be out there? Absolutely. 100 percent i'm certain there's species we don't know of out there are they bigfoot probably at least some are some of them probably people... have just average size feet some of them are just tiny normal foot yeah, man. um but normal are feet. they these stories these people are telling about bigfoot uh i've heard like when i was watching this i heard stories of bigfoot crossing the road then vanishing on the other side how they can turn invisible <laughs> how they like to glowing hang red out, eyes glowing red eyes how that's they a like big description usually hang and out in stink. corners and then turn into fairy lights and flutter away i've never heard that one. <laughs> oh, that goes into the alien bigfoot connection all right well, we'll we're talk gonna talk about do, that later yeah well let's stick with the normal stuff now yeah. anyway so Bigfoot sightings go all the way back into like Native American history, and like we're specifically doing the American ones right now. Mm-hmm. But you know, you have like the Yeti in like uh, the Serengeti, mm-hmm. and in like uh, Saudi, no, not Saudi Arabia, uh, the cold part of Russia, Siberia. That one, yeah, <laughs> they have stuff over there too. So it's all over the world. It's not yeah. just here, but the mountains because of we're Tibet here, have the the. Mountains of Tibet. Is that also Sasquatch have a, or Yeti? I think that's a Yeti. Okay, but I'm, I'm maybe not. Maybe. It's like the same snow there, ones. It's, yeah, it's just different names for basically the same idea of an animal. Now, a lot of the time, everybody chalks it up to misidentification, and a lot of times it could be, and it's it's either like a bear with mange, mm-hmm. or a bear that's just upright because those are or big people AF. fucking around. Yeah, well, a there's lot also of them those. There's a lot of hoaxes where people are debunked about costumes. people like wearing costumes and stuff. But like even in like uh, New Jersey, they we have that bear that's been like around oh, for years. Oh, because he heard his front paws. He his front paws. He, he always on walks his on legs. his back legs. Yeah, and that's got to look weird. As shit. Yeah, can you imagine in the middle of the night you see that crossing the road? You'd think it was a bigfoot. Yeah, man, you freak out. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> in case you didn't know, there's a black bear in New Jersey that hurt like its front paw, and so it walks on its back legs like everywhere. It just walks around. It's the only way it walks. Yeah, and like. People were like, "What's going on? They're gr- they're learning, but it, it's just a <laughs> the evolution uh, of bears has begun." Yeah, our time has come, humans. Uh, well, that's what would happen if there's a, a plethora of Bigfoot. <laughs> Yo, that's yeah. Um, so yeah, well, in America though, we get them in the the most of the stories come in the Pacific Northwest. Out around the Great Lakes, mm-hmm. and then in the southern state, eastern states. Yeah, which is like you didn't hear about the skunk ape, but that's I had like, no idea. About that's skunk like Florida. Ape. That's like a swampy monster. Yeah, and they're down there. And I'm pretty sure those ones are a little, little shorter. They've got like black and white fur, and they yeah. they smell extra. So extra they're like bad. they're like the Bigfoot cousins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like the Bigfoot inbred cousins in Florida. Well, everything's <laughs> different in Florida, apparently. That's where you go to retire. Maybe that's what happens. That's why it's got the grayish brown hair. It's because it. 
They went to Florida, retire from oh, they're being old in the woods. Also. They're, they're shorter because they have a hunch. They're new, older. They're, new theory. They smell so bad because they're constantly shitting themselves. <laughs> 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 so I, I wrote down a couple of like exciting things that I found um, in my lazy research. Some of them mostly on Wikipedia. But uh, <clears throat> in 2007, the Bigfoot researcher, Field Researchers Organization, that was the thing I was trying to tell you. Because I didn't know how to pronounce it, but I forgot. Mm-hmm. But that's like a big... Uh, like big foot, like MUFON type deal. Okay. Like it's like the same thing, but like for Bigfoots, yeah. it's run by Matt Moneymaker. Mm-hmm. I think he had like a bunch of shows on like the History Channel and Discovery mm-hmm. Channel and stuff, like uh, hunting Bigfoot and stuff like yeah. that. Um, <clears throat> put some photos where they claim to show a juvenile Bigfoot. And the Pennsylvania Game Commission, however, said, I guess this took place in Pennsylvania, that the photos were <laughs> of a bear with mange. And I saw the photo, and yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a bear skinny with mange. bear. I think I I think I remember reading about something like this a yeah. while ago. But their anthro- uh, anthropologist Jeffrey Meldrum, uh an Ohio scientist and Ohio scientist Jason Jarvis said that the limb proportions on the creature were not bear-like and were more like a chimpanzee. So that's weird, but also I think a lot of the time with Bigfoot cases people see what they want to see. Yeah. And I mean a bear that doesn't have a lot of fur and is suffering from disease and is a little skinnier, mm-hmm. its limbs might look a little longer. He doesn't than have they the are. same body mass that yeah. most bears have. Most bears are all pudgy, yeah. that's why their arms look short. Yeah. Even though they're really not. They still have like a six foot reach on oh, like yeah. the, the brown no. bears. I love looking at mangy bears. They look adorable. Or like have the you bald seen ones? like um they thought the um in New Mexico or was it New Mexico? It might have been uh, Northmore. Um, they found a a bear that had mange was really really sick. Yeah, and it people didn't know what it was at first because the skin had all uh kind of like shriveled and it left these long the claws looking especially elongated. It had no fur. Its teeth were these huge teeth that didn't have the normal jowls covering it. And people thought it was like a chupacabra <laughs> dead. I thought that they were always blamed coyotes that had mange on that. That's That's a huge chupacabra. That's why people were like, that's it. That's the, those were just coyotes. This is the chupacabra. (laughs) And someone's like, that's a bear. And they were like, no, chupacabra. And they're like, DNA test it. No, it's a chupacabra. Yeah. Oh, I love Their it because they never just hides. They never test them because it's never what yeah. it is. That's the thing that's funny about Bigfoots. Is where are the bodies? Yeah, I always think I always heard that it's because they're they're smarter, mm-hmm. and so they they do burials like they bury their dead, or also just the Pacific Northwest and the places where they are I mean, so vast you just don't. They, you're not they could be something like it. elephants. I mean, we know elephants literally like go to graveyards to die, or like. Yeah, that so kind of thing. Could, we just haven't found their they spot. They could have like caves that they crawl into to die with the rest of their family. Yeah, that doesn't. Well, you, you know, I get and why just people think are about suspicious. the amount of caves that are like in oh, the woods that we've never the, been into. The central of the country is just an entire network. I mean, we have some of them here, like Cramp, uh, Crystal Cave. Yeah, but those are all little. There's like nothing in those. No, they're huge. They're they're little when you go on the tour because they have so much of it blocked off. Yeah, they're huge cave systems. There's and there's a bigger one out farther. Uh, that's that's like we have these massive cave systems and completely unrelated. Are you saying that that's where our bigfoots live? Uh, maybe completely unrelated. Bigfoot hunt. The more large cave system map. If you look at the cave system map in the U.S. and you look at the where people have gone missing map in the U.S. Oh. They they overlap <laughs> a lot. And one of the conspiracies is that like. There's vampires or something underground that take the people to the caves. And well, we know it's the maybe Bigfoots. it's Bigfoot. Yeah, it's, it's the Bigfoot. Bigfoots. They're taking them because they need to make more Bigfoots because <gasps> there's not enough Bigfoots. What if Bigfoots are vampires? No, they they're bite breeding you. them. No, they bite you and then you turn into a Bigfoot. <laughs> That's so they're they're werefoots. They're apes. <laughs> they're were-apes. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my god, we figured it out. That's why they're so hard to find. But anyway. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> so there's so many hoaxes in Bigfoot situations that it makes it almost impossible to find yeah. like a legitimate like Bigfoot sighting. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, there's just so many of them at the same time. But that's it's yeah, just there's, so crazy. There's that's where I'm at too. Is is so many of them turn up as hoaxes. But well, here in this one, in August of 2012, apparently a man in Montana was killed while perpetrating a Bigfoot hoax, hoax wearing a ghillie suit because he ran across the street and got hit by a car. That's what will happen. when. Also, you... at this point, you would think people would not go into the woods wearing a giant man ape suit. Yeah. Because people are going <sighs> to shoot you. The... Yeah. yeah. Or think you're a bear or something. 
Well, that's just, the problem is there's so many sightings. I mean, like, it's an insane amount of people that, like, see or, or have some sort of Bigfoot experience that, like, yeah, okay, sure, a big chunk of them are fakers or crazy. Yeah. But all of them? It's the ones that aren't making a big deal about it, yeah. but, like, report it that you're like, did you see something? Yeah, they're just like, I don't want to like, talk I don't, about it. I, I had to tell the police because I had to, but yeah. that's it. I'm done talking about it now. And that's when you're like, what? <laughs> Bigfoot <laughs> vampires are here. That killed the Bigfoot? No. And everybody was like, you sure you didn't shoot a person? <laughs> And like I don't think he, like, he didn't hi, he didn't have the body. I forget where it was that I was watching it, but it was like an inner two like an interview with this man, and he was talking about how he was in the woods and he shot a bigfoot, and then he took some fur from it and like like buried the body or did something with it. He wasn't going to show anybody it was gone. That's suspicious. And they're like, "Yo, what if you just shot a person, dude? Like, yeah. we need to see this." And he's like, "Nah, yeah. full of it. It was a bigfoot. I don't. Know. Yeah, he's he's he was a." He was like, I killed it and hid the body. Trust me, it's safe. Here's some fur, maybe. Yeah, uh, it's never Bigfoot fur. It's always dog no. or like bear or yeah. deer fur. Well, that's because the thing is, if you just find fur in the woods, and you're yeah. like, oh, Bigfoot. But like, no, bears rub bears against everything. Shed on everything. And they do it really high up in trees, and they put claw marks really yeah. high up in trees. My favorite thing about Bigfoot stories is like the, the yell. Yeah. Which I will not imitate. Jared will get mad when he has to edit it later. Yeah. But the yell, it's so specific, but then everybody knows how to do it. It's like, yeah, everyone. who taught you? They like how bang to do sticks that? on trees too for like, yeah. Like, or we're, we're, throw we're, rocks. we're, yeah, we're attracting it. Clang, clang, clang. And you're like, do you know how animals work? Is that maybe you've never found one because you're yelling and slamming sticks through the woods as you go along they there. They normally don't like that. That's how you make bears go away. <laughs> what do you think it's going to yeah. do to something that's not a... These Apex things aren't that elusive. You people are just bad hunters. <laughs> they're, they're actually just everywhere, but everybody <laughs> walks into the woods smashing There's rocks. Bigfoot. That's why all the sightings are people like, that like, like, like are just minding their own business. Because Bigfoot's here, these wackadoos slamming on trees and go, not that way, not today. No, nah, why is he yelling like that? <laughs> we speak yo <laughs> we speak can you imagine bigfoot going oh my word there's another one of those rednecks <laughs> quickly my jove this well did you way. ever hear did you ever see like hillbilly monster hunting show oh, where no. they all like went into the woods with guns and there's like an old dude with a big gray beard and stuff you know they did stuff like that yeah. they were basically like the uh the hillbilly monster hunter version of like ghost adventures <sighs> They walked into the woods yelling at the monsters. <laughs> Come out, Bigfoot! You dumb bitch! Imagine if you're, say you're a Bigfoot. And let's just say you're just vaguely intelligent. You're not like, you're ape intelligent. You're not like... You're like, you you're like small a, child intelligent. Yeah. You see a group of like six dudes screaming. I don't care if you understand them or not. Screaming as they stomp through the woods. What are you not going to do? Not go to them, especially because they're probably shooting the guns off. <laughs> pow, pow. Randomly. We want to be your friend. Come here, Bigfoot. <laughs> That's actually like a whole debate on whether or not we, we kill the Bigfoots when we find them or try and catch them. Well, from some of the stuff I saw when I was researching, um, some of these people think Bigfoot is like their personal Jesus and is willing <laughs> to save them. And some of them are like, I just want it for science. <laughs> You're like, you don't know anything about science. I bet you these people go into the woods kill people or like that wasn't bigfoot bury the body and then that's why all of these people go missing in woods is because they were bigfoot hunted they were like oh man that thing's got a lot of hair on it <laughs> turns out that's just a man with long hair it was it was a it was a hiker who was lost well he came right at me with this knife drops a knife on his body that was a real nice beard he had <laughs> oops that's so messed up i should be laughing at this but that's yeah. That's probably something that happens. Well, we we did so many like sad stories. Already. Oh my god! We might yeah. as well have fun. Yeah, with right. Them. I mean, come on, Bigfoot hunters, and these people are not. They are not the cream of the crop as far no. as hunters and trackers. Well, go. I've I'm sorry, but most most uh, cryptozoological slash alien hunters have this weird tendency to be like complete whack jobs. That's a fact. <laughs> it, it makes it hard because when you. When you're someone like me that generally thinks, like, yeah, I a, want to believe. Yeah, I want to believe. There's a lot out there that I don't know. There's a lot of like evidence that it, it seems suspicious that it's not. And then you have these people come on and say stuff about it. And you're like, 
you're the reason no one believes this. Like, are you a government plant? Are you here? Like the dude with the hair? And you're like, no, aliens aren't real. You know what? I changed my mind. That fucking show. Wait. (laughs) Side rant. Five seconds. It ties Ancient aliens. (laughs) It does. Ancient aliens has done more to harm alien belief than anything. Because they make these leaps in logic that are insane. Like, they have, like, the one It's this, like, gold-designed bird. And it looks like a plane, but it's supposed to mimic a bird. Okay, and it shows it's vaguely aerodynamic in design. And they go, see, they knew what aerodynamics was. This means they had airplanes. No, it fucking doesn't. The, it no. means they saw a bird and understood that, like, paper airplanes and things could fly. It doesn't mean they built a 747 and were getting around Aztec in South America, you nut jobs. The most offensive thing from those shows is the fact that they literally are like, people were too stupid to build a wall back then. <laughs> it had to be aliens. Yeah. Who would think that if you stack rocks to get... <laughs> people don't know to do that people can't use measurements there's no way they were able to make rocks uniform come on you've never tried doing that with a hammer in your backyard i bet you can't like no that's not <laughs> i could if i cared that much yeah. but like that's all they had to care about back then yeah um anyway sorry that was uh, just my own little personal <laughs> no, soapbox no, i brought it up that yeah. was my fault and it's still it's it's just like the same stuff with yeah. this stuff like you have all these people that like go out and they fake things and they like videotape it and then they send it and you're like no <laughs> you just just come on you're I hurting was the cause so happy until this moment happened uh-huh. like there's a dude who found a, a bigfoot corpse and he brought it in and it was like a cooler or something or he put it in like a giant freezer and then it was like a dead person that he found somewhere yeah. and it's like yo you can't just find dead bodies yeah call it bigfoot and then bring it around with you yeah he's like he's suspiciously not hairy but i think that's just because all the hair fell out when he died or it's a man you mother <laughs> wow yeah i remember hearing about that one and be like yo did he kill the guy like yeah. i don't think they ever really he, determined he, that he found the body yeah uh-huh. um in january 2014 a man named rick dryer dyer I'm so bad at names. It's dire. I don't. There's no way it's drier. There's no R there. It's, it's I'm dire. an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> perpetrated. Uh, he was a perpetrator of a previous Bigfoot hoax. Said that he had killed a Bigfoot creature in September of 2012. I think this is different than the one that I was thinking of. Um, this was in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. He said that he had scientific tests perform on the body, from DNA tests to 3D optical scans of the body. It okay. is the real deal. It's Bigfoot. A Bigfoot's here, and I shot it. And now I'm proving <laughs> to the world. That sounds like a terrible person. Saying, it's here, and I shot it. I killed the only one. Like, I'm so happy. I don't so know happy. if you've ever felt the pure ecstasy that goes through <laughs> your body when you kill a one-of-a-kind animal. He said that he had kept the body <laughs> in a hidden location and intended to take it on tour across North America in 2014. He released photos of the body and a video showing a few individuals' reactions to seeing it, but never released any of the tests or scans. Of course not, because it's not a Bigfoot well, body. Well, probably because, yeah, they didn't say it was Bigfoot. He yeah. refused to disclose the test results y- to provide biolog- uh, or to provide biological samples. He said the DNA results were done by an undisclosed lab and could not be matched to identify any known animal. This is one of those things that I always think is funny and it happens in like a lot of things like involving cryptids Mm -hmm. or like aliens and stuff. It always goes to an unnamed scientist. Yes. Uh, This unnamed (laughs) scientist who did not want to be named. This unnamed expert. It's like tests and it is 100% what I'm saying it is. He just doesn't want this on the record. What? Why? (laughs) Every, every time. Um, Dyer said that he would reveal the body and tests on February 9th of 2014 at a news conference in Washington University, at Washington University, but he never made the test results available. Well, of course not. Of course not. After the Phoenix tour, the Bigfoot body was taken to Houston. On March 28th of 2004, Dyer admitted on his Facebook page that his Bigfoot ah, corpse was another hoax. Of course it was. Wait, wait, let me put on my shocked face. (sighs) It was he paid another hoax. <laughs> he paid Chris Russell of Twisted Toy Box to manufacture the prop, which he nicknamed Hank, from <laughs> latex foam and camel hair. Uh, Dyer oh earned approximately sixty thousand dollars from the tour on this second fake Bigfoot cor- corpse. He said that he did kill a Bigfoot, 
but he did not take the real body on tour for fear it would be stolen. Oh, yeah, sure. This guy is one of those prime examples of why people don't believe in Bigfoot and things like that. Because he's in it clearly for the money. So I always there's always this weird, funny thing with the hoaxers where people will say they're doing it just to bring attention to the cause. Yeah. But they're not bringing the right kind of attention. They're bringing the kind of attention that fills their pocket with cash. Yeah. And it's it's. But like it's I could helpful. get scientists it's the opposite to test of help so. yeah, I could get scientists or museums to test it and they'd probably pay me but would they pay me as much as if I opened up a sideshow and had you come in and touch the Bigfoot fur and that's five dollars a touch no I was like it's funny as everybody thinks these people do it for money but like a lot of the times outside of like this well, situation, so, you don't make money people no. are like no I actually don't I'm get not a job this ever again for the people that have spotted Bigfoot. I'm talking like this guy, these people oh, that yeah, are no, like, these ones are I've killed a Bigfoot and I've done these things and I'm, I have proof. These people are the ones like, yeah, doing it for not they're, just, they're, just for fame. They're manipulating the people that really have seen or think they've seen something and really believe this. And they're manipulating those people for their money. Yeah. yeah that's just, terrible. it's disgusting. And then there's like the biggest hoax slash. Is it real? And that's the Patterson Gimlin film. Do you know about the, the one where he's walking through the woods? With the the most famous video of Which all time. Wasn't, like, did super they prove that was hoaxed? Or? I don't know if they ever did okay. because nobody's ever admitted it. Okay. Well, I don't think so, at least. I didn't see it. I'm, I, I heard I, that they did. But again, it's one of those things that nobody can prove. And yeah. the theories are just crazy with that one. Yeah. All the way to like the uh, prop designer for Planet of the Apes uh, created the costume that was used in the video. Oh, wow. Because I think these guys have some connection to, to that person to hollywood yeah yeah and so i always thought that was great because i remember i've seen that video like a million times like since being a kid it's like in uh, the beginning yeah. of x files i think it's unsolved mysteries hmm? oh yeah it's yeah. in our intro and it's it's <laughs> it's, it's, in, it's in unsolved mysteries it's in x files i mean when you like like that's the taste growing up that was the clip they showed bigfoot. of bigfoot yeah. yeah all right so this is the thing that i just found and I don't know how much of it I'm going to read, okay. but this is from three hours ago. Okay. Why does it keep saying that? Anyway, this I found this yesterday when I was looking for stuff, and it was a hiker believes he may have found evidence of a Bigfoot. Okay. And this is super recent. Okay. This took place in Logan, Logan, Utah. I am so bad at names. Watch me mess this it's, dude's it's name up. That's sex Alexia. Matthew Wentz. I got it. Mm-hmm. That's his name. Pretty sure. Is a believer. He did have some skepticism about what he came across last month in Bear River Range, a large footprint he thinks could have been made by a Sasquatch. Right. Now, this is great because this relates back to <laughs> mine and Jared's show about clickbaity headlines. Mm-hmm. Because this headline makes it sound as though he found a Bigfoot. But then you read, and he just found a footprint of a Bigfoot, which is what everybody finds. Everyone finds Which footprints. is the easiest thing to fake. Yeah. Well, People because I mean, theoretically, were wooden yeah. big feet and just walking around in the woods yeah. in them. Theoretically, if it were if Bigfoot were real, it'd be big, and it'd be heavy, so yeah. it'd leave footprints in soft soil. So it makes sense that you'd find footprints, but you have every Tom, Dick, and Harry faking them and doing a cast of them of just a big molded foot. Yeah, and then saying it's a book, it's a Bigfoot footprint. One of the things that I was I was listening to a, a documentary yesterday too while I was doing this, and they were talking about how. If Bigfoot was real, it'd be flat footed because it's so big and heavy. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of these casts have arches in them uh-huh. and they're like, so that can't be real. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like, Bigfoot. Scientifically, yep. that wouldn't work. Yeah. And I mean, apes, I think in general, their feet are pretty flat footed. Like, yeah, they're if generally... They're like ape apes. Yeah, I think so. But as a large boy, I can say flat feet make sense for a big heavy thing. <laughs> yeah. Accurate. <laughs> uh, Wentz is an avid outdoors person. He hikes, hunts, and fly fishes often. In fact, he tries to get out the mountains around Cache Valley two or three times a week. So this is a guy that's outside a lot. Yeah. So he's probably seen a lot of footprints. So if he's not the hoaxer, yeah. maybe he ha- he does think this is legitimate. Yeah. He's a 34-year-old native and has had some interesting experiences in the wild. Another occurred in June 5th in Mount Naomi Wilderness. He posted about it on Facebook called Cache Valley is a Beautiful... On a Facebook page called Cache Valley is Beautiful in early July... And has had many responses. What is this other? <laughs> what is that? Oh man, 
This is why we do this. Yep. Most people think Sasquatch or Bigfoot is a joke. One said in his recent interview with the Herald Journal, I have multiple friends that are older than me that have seen stuff around here. They are credible, but don't really talk about it. See, those are the kind of guys mm-hmm. that I want to meet to talk yep. about it. You know, someone has seen something and it scares them and they don't really want to talk about it to her be real uh, or be ridiculed. A lot of people don't realize something like this could exist. So that directly transitions into some of the research I did yesterday. Yeah. Because um, there's a, a reservation uh, in um, Utah. Uh, it's either Utah or Nevada. I'm not sure. Okay, well, they're close. Um, but well, we can go because I think that's that's pretty much the bulk of it. There's just this man talking about how he found a big footprint uh, and like how he believes in them. Uh, I did like this line though. If such a creature is out there and it, it has been pushed to a more remote areas, which makes sense. Native Americans have been talking about Sasquatch for yeah, hundreds for of years. It's not a joke. There is something interesting out there. Yeah, and that's what we were saying. Like, yeah, if there's a Bigfoot. And it's in these yeah, and that, big, vast areas like Utah and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be hiding from now, us. Related directly to that is a lot of sightings come from reservations in that area. Mm-hmm. Uh, areas where they, they they have a lot more open land like that. So the one, <laughs> the one uh, Bigfoot hunter is a retired sheriff of Utah? Of the reservation. Oh, I thought you were you were waiting. I was waiting for you to put the glass down. I was being quiet about. Okay. Um, he is a a retired sheriff of the reservation. Him and his son go out every weekend. Which, by the way, in the documentary, the son's wearing a Billie Eilish shirt, and I loved it. I don't know why. (laughs) I was just like, and the son and him are just like this. They they have guns, but they're like the guns are for our protection because there's coyotes and and stuff like that up there. Bear. But yeah, we're not we're not actually aiming to hunt the bigfoot. We just want to see it, and they seem really cool they go out there they're they but they're like whacking sticks and they they were the ones to talk about the smell of goat being what bigfoot smells like and like <laughs> i don't i don't they, understand they talk the ab- goat they talk about it and one of the things that comes up from another person off of the reservation is almost everyone on the reservation has seen it believes it and doesn't want to talk about it and that's the kind of stuff that makes me go there's something out there when the entire reservation is like, yeah, Bigfoot's real, but we're not talking about it on camera. It's a, don't don't go there. I don't yeah. want to be part of this. Well, along like the supernatural side of it, since we're getting back into that yeah. now, isn't there like a, a thing where like Bigfoot and like Native Americans used to like coexist peacefully, mm-hmm. and then there was some kind of like fight between them, and it, that's why they don't really I, hang out anymore. Okay, I, my understanding of Native American beliefs is very limited, based on yeah. like fiction works that are pretty accurate and growing up with my grandfather who was super into native american history and belief um and there's a lot like the 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 old style i could be totally wrong don't quote me on any of this i believe the the old style is that like um like the the old the old gods and things like that there's like levels of of existence yeah so like the the first people which aren't actually people they're like gods basically Mm -hmm. came from the bottom and came up through the levels of the world. And as they came up, they found other creatures and things like that. Bigfoot is one of those creatures that they were like, come with us. Cool with when they made that transition, I think. And then they ended on this plane and they, they, I forget found made us humans, the natives. And then, um, the, like the whole mythos with like Nagloshi is like because they were the messengers for the gods, and then mm-hmm. when the the first people left, when the gods left, uh, the the Nagloshi were supposed to go with them, and they didn't. They wanted to stay, <laughs> and that's where these skinwalkers came from. These like really, they're supposed to be like you're not even supposed to say their name. They're really like the 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 medicine men and stuff like that won't talk about them with outsiders. They're crazy. Like yeah. it's a crazy deep mythos about these because they're they're they are the first people. They're just not quite the level of the gods, but they are the first people, and they're crazy powerful, but they're also well, malicious. Skinwalkers were like, what happens when a witch doctor murders someone in their family or something? So there's there's lots of or versions. Or no, incest. There's lots of versions of that, but the Native American, at least as far as I knew, was okay. Was that they were the Nagloshi. I know maybe maybe I'm mixing up Nagloshi and Skinwalkers. Like you said, I could yeah, be told. I've wrong. heard a lot for Skinwalkers, and yeah. I never heard. That I think one. Nagloshi <laughs> are the ones that are just they're shapeshifters and they're super super evil. I think Skinwalkers. I think you're right. I think the Skinwalkers it's a are witch the, doctor, the, the yeah. witch doctor thing. Yeah, I messed that up. But there's a whole mythos there, and I think Bigfoots. And this comes into what I 
what during my research yesterday. Um, <laughs> the research that I told you to do. Yeah, and it was like he was. He's like, gonna be like not nah, into that. <laughs> it is rough. I did this so you don't have to. Um, so the Bigfoot in those ancient beliefs were on like a different. There's so many levels. There's like the yellow world and the blue world and like things mm-hmm. like that. The Bigfoot were on another world. That's where they live in re- now, current yeah. day. They live on another world, and they were on another world when the first people found them, as far as I understand it. In t- today's beliefs, and a part of this documentary and some of the other research I did, they think Bigfoot come and go because they are extra dim- dimensional, mm-hmm. and they literally like get lost and pop in or like check in on the the natives and the people and or then come here to hunt us you would some people said hunt but not none of the none of the natives i saw or any of the native research i did said anything about them hunting it was mostly that they were like checking in or observing man or whatever doing something transitioning and then they'd they disappear or fade out because they were popping back yeah to their home dimension now this also transitions into an entire subcult culture not cult of bigfoot is alien which i was aware of <laughs> i was I not re- aware of i was aware of how crazy it gets kyle pushed me to research the bigfoot alien connection and there's a documentary on amazon i highly recommend you don't watch um, <laughs> well what's it called so we can avoid it the bigfoot alien connection <laughs> <laughs> and it is rough it is rough it is okay bigfoots are aliens man that's Bigfoots, why their eyes that's glow what they red. Say. Bigfoots are aliens. They 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 come and go. That's why they fade out in lights and things like that. That maybe they're teleporting. Now they also work with the Greys. With the Greys, probably. Well, so did you know that wasn't in there? No, they that's didn't something I heard. They work directly with I, the Greys. I believe it. Um, okay, so let's start from the basics of that. In that, um, Bigfoot sightings and UFO or what they call UF, UAP now, which is un. Un air or yeah something unidentified. I don't know that one. Aircraft or something like that. I knew they changed it, but like they everybody still calls. I don't remember UFOs. what UAP stands for. And also, it's not UFO; it's UFO. <laughs> UFO. Just so you know. Anyway, unidentified flying objects and uh, Bigfoot spottings um, tend to go hand in hand statistically. So the more you see, when you when you look at a map of where Bigfoot have been spotted. The map where aliens have been spotted, or UFOs technically, are, or it's unidentified alien something or another. Yeah. A UFOs no longer, UFOs are used for things that could be human aircraft. A UAPs are like, this is definitely alien. That's why they made the difference. Yeah. Um, but the, the phenomenon? It might, it might be an yeah, unidentified alien phenomenon or something like that. It's something like that. The point is, they overlap a lot. Yes. A lot. Well, it's it's the areas. Because yeah. it's like these big, vast areas. Like, Utah is super big yeah. for aliens. Well, so part of that, and I'm going to pull up my research. Because right. so, I took Go some notes. It. Go for it. Um, so Dolce, New Mexico has a lot of it. And Dolce is right outside. Excuse me. Right outside of Roswell. Yeah. And, and that's where... Um, oh, what's the air hangar there? It's not the Area 51 one. No, it's... um. I think it's just the Dolce Air Force it's Probably just the that's air. the one where the the aliens have the caves where they harvest us. Yeah, sure, and the government works with them. I mean, uh, very possibly at this point, I would not doubt <laughs> it. So, Dolce, New Mexico, is is pretty heavily known for UFO sightings, uh, cattle mutilation, UFO sightings. The native people's myth about Bigfoot uh, is also right there in Dolce, outside of that um, yeah. that area. There's a lot of of sightings of Bigfoot there. Mm-hmm. So you have a high a high amount of both UFOs from some people and Bigfoot from other people, and then this. Aren't some of the culture. alien stories even tied into the Native American culture out so there? So some like, of them, like, yeah, all the way back to like things in the sky. Well, that's any over the desert religion and stuff. or mythos in history is that stuff's been in the sky. So there's lots of stuff tying them together uh, throughout the years. Um, now to bring it home a little, Pennsylvania. Um, in 1973, had a huge surge of UFO, of UFO <laughs> and Bigfoot sightings. I mean, like, it went from I, f- I forget the numbers now. Um, it went from like six a year to like 600 a year. Well, Pennsylvania is massive, and well, so yeah, much. Pennsylvania of it has just a forest. lot of open forest yeah. country area. 
Um, I mean, we're just the top part of the Appalachian yeah. Trail. It's like, yeah. what, 5,000 miles? <laughs> so um, part of the, the, the theory behind this is that the government is actively discouraging people from uh, tr- looking into Bigfoot and aliens because the government wants UFOs. They want that technology. I mean, every video we've seen of UFOs, that's like... And a now that the government's come out and said, hey, and yeah, especially we're now, looking for them. I mean, Marco Rubio is saying that he wants the information from yeah, our, our... I mean, the Navy released videos of UFOs blowing our jets out of the water, <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, the government is unabashedly, and I don't even blame them, like, oh, we want this technology. But here's also the thing, though. The government's also lied to us a lot of times. Oh, a lot. To get us to think that something that is already our technology is something else. Yeah. Like, like they used the, to encourage. The bomber and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they used to encourage UFO stories. Yeah. They were like, nah, sh- there's no such thing as UFOs, but like, we don't know what that was. So. Yeah. Well, and that's, like, and, that's and exactly. then it's like a few years later, like, yeah, by the way, we can go like Mach 10 now. Yeah. It was, oh, yeah. The Black Hawk. <laughs> yeah. That was ours. That was, that was ours. That was, that's, yeah. That's one of our planes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> Take what you with it what you will, but there's a lot of people that make the connection between Bigfoot and aliens mm-hmm. because of this geographic relations, because they're so often seen together, and because, as we mentioned earlier, a lot of these Bigfoot sightings end with them fading into light, disappearing. You know, just it's coming because home. they're getting back on the ships. It's because the they're, they're yeah, they're down here on a mission. That's really what they're here for. They're I know doing they don't work, work with, with the, grays. the grays. I'm telling you, they don't work with the grays, and here's why. <laughs> If we want to go down this rabbit hole on well, aliens... We're going to go hard on this okay. now. <laughs> uh, the Greys are assholes. And they just do tests. Fuck the Greys, all right? If you... They're I'm trying passionate. to cure Corona. They're not trying to cure Corona. They probably made it. I bet you anything the Greys made a deal with China. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Whoa, that just got real racist. No, no. Not just... Not like, oh, we China... We decided to... what they got with them. They're like, you know, you have a population problem. We'll no. fix it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying <laughs> the Greys were like... The Greys, if you look in, in alien history, yeah, whether they're the assholes. real or not... The tall the whites assholes. are the nice yeah. ones. Like uh, the Valiant Greys Thor. are the ones that give you gifts, but they're not really gifts. And they're like, no, no, you, you they do this. trade. Yeah, they trade. You give us people, we'll give you but technology. They give you stuff that they like. They want you to use to make you weaker for them. Like they would be the ones that would be like, here, you're six major corp- major countries on the world. Here's nuclear technology. Well, they're the ones that are in the Dulce. Well, they're one of the aliens that are in the Supposedly Dulce air base, in the, the, the caves or whatever. Yeah, doing tests. They get people. We supply them people. Yeah, and then they give us new tech. That's yeah. That's actually the pretty yeah. yeah. They're they're, they're all about like just using us for basically cattle and stuff. But like I mean, that. like, how many times can you experiment on? Never mind. We do a lot There's of not experiments on rats. Yeah, but it's not it's not experiments on us. I think they want us for it's for breeding. The grays. There's if some of the the whether it's bullshit or not, I don't know. Is that they're they're cloners? That's why they all look so similar. Yeah, is because they've kind of there's they've one thinned of their gene pool. There's not enough DNA left, and so they're using us for genetic studies. Oh, which which Doctor Who villain was like that, where they were all just clones? Oh, they're, uh, the Santarans. Well, there's a few, I think. The Santarans are all clones, aren't they? Those are the big guys there's with the no potato necks, right? Ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those they're are all clones. And, but there's also like the one where they have the isolated ship, and they like they scar the hand after they take a genetic sample and make more troops out of it. It's got like dolphin people and regular people. That's the one that where one. the Doctor's daughter shows up. I'm not. I That's didn't... old school David. Not old school David Tennant, but it's, it is. It's it's. I guess David Tennant is old school now. Oh, yeah. Getting old. Um, it's David Tennant. It's when it's actually his wife that plays his daughter. Yeah. Um, and they never brought her back again. But so because the the cloning technology failed on the Doctor, but it didn't or whatever. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff with that. The Greys are generally speaking in the alien rumor mill assholes. They're yeah. just constantly using us for things, and they're Not like the offering worst ones, presents. though. Well, no, the worst ones are um, the lizard people. Oh, they're not aliens. Some of them are. No, they live on this planet. They were here first. <laughs> <laughs> they're also at Dulce. Well, they're also they're the ones in the caves. Yeah, so they're the ones that eat us. Yeah, the, the, the lizard folk live in the middle of the oh, planet. They, they also work with the Greys. All the aliens work together. Not all of them. So the the whites, the tall white ones, they sometimes work with the Greys. Sometimes grays, but work with the nice. Greys, but they're they're they they're, I think they're called Arcturans. Or something. Uh, they have different names. There's so I there's, just know a valiant Thor. Like okay. I know that specific person. And there's like pictures of him like with the president. There's specifically a race of beings from towards the center of the galaxy. 
once again, this could be totally bullshit. But you know, the when, Nords. You, when I you, think they're also called that sometimes, or like the Asgardian. It might be the Asgardian ones. Um, they're the ones that, from the center of the galaxy, they're one of the oldest races. They're one of the most powerful because they had longer to build and technology. they're tall, not short. Like I don't, grace. I don't actually know if those ones from the center are. Uh, no, the, the the tall whites are called the tall whites because yeah, they're like but eight but feet that's tall. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm okay. talking about the center of the galaxy ones. Okay, they're the ones in charge. They're like literally, not figuratively, a hundred million years older than most of the other races, and they're probably purely energy beings at this point. I don't know. And that's where Bigfoot comes from. And that's Bigfoot. So Bigfoot maybe is if Bigfoot's pure coming energy. and going. Well, so do you know the the whole theory behind do we want to go into this on yes this one? Okay. let's just keep going with the bigfoot how 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 far are we in 20 minutes oh hard into to the bring aliens. this in i'm gonna we're gonna go hard into aliens next time because that's the connection here for bigfoot then we'll just also talk about aliens yeah yeah but because <laughs> we got sidetracked on aliens there's a lot of people that make that association between bigfoot and aliens because of yeah. how similar the sightings are because of some of the things bigfoot does because of the rumors that i said where they're connected and because both alien sightings and bigfoot sightings go back thousands of years yeah i mean like in all of human history there's some type of objects in the sky like you said and big and the fact that we never find the bodies well that, so that, that's the that theory would that make that more sense they're, is that, yeah, they're taking the bodies away like if, if we were doing that if we were observing tribes or something and our researcher died or was shot by some hick <laughs> we'd also take his body out yeah or they just leave and don't die here or they yeah. don't die at yeah, all like maybe they just don't die here maybe they just don't die at all we don't know Bigfoots never die. There's actually only one Although, Bigfoot. Although, I'm more of a fan of the Bigfoot vampire theory now. The one you. that you created? Yeah. That's my new theory. And I'm, I'm telling you, they bite I'm more you, of they a turn fan of the a Bigfoot. Big, I'm more of a fan of the Bigfoot erotica, where they come, they take pretty ladies, and they drag them to their caves, and that's how you get little Bigfoots. Um, all right. No, but okay. You've never... Um, un- unrelated <laughs> to any of this, uh, one of my favorite SCPs, uh, Secure, Contain, Protect. Yeah. Is I know SCPs. S- well, I was for the. Do you the know audience. SCP? Jared, do you know what an SCP is? Do you know is? what SCP is? And yeah. you. Well, I mean, it's both now. Well, so if you know what an SCP is, um, one of my favorite ones is SCP-1000, and it, it's directly related to Bigfoot, and how Bigfoot were actually here thousands and thousands of years before us, and were the more advanced society, and then, uh, like a virus wiped them out. And made them dumb, or no, a trickster god. That's what it is. It was oh, like I was a native say, trickster. That's happening right now to us. Yeah. A native trickster god showed favor on on us over mm-hmm. them because we were the day hunters, they were the night hunters. But they developed tools and technology and ended up making like bio technology, so like living ships and living houses. So and this is an Atlantis story, kind of. That's all, all over the planet, and they they made God mad, and then God. Kind of, sort of, yeah. On them. Basically, Bigfoot was is a is the, the SCP mm. is an Atlantis story. Okay. And so the trickster god kills them or makes them all dumb, and this virus that <laughs> wears them out. Now what, you're dumb. Whatever happens. Um, and then we ended up taking prominence mm-hmm. as time went on, and so Bigfoot are still circulating around because they're too they're just, stupid to make. They're locked of them. in their own heads, basically. Yeah. And one part of the SCP is that every now and again we've had these we've, these reports of Bigfoots sending messages and basically saying, "We understand why you did what you did. We forgive you. Let us back in." And it's cre- like the whole thing is really good. If you are into SCPs at all, I definitely recommend looking up SCP one thousand. It's a real. And, I'm gonna because I don't think I ever let. And I always go for like the a, big ones. No, it's a false SCP. Also, so the first part of it reads like, "Oh, if you see Bigfoot." You have a, like a ten percent chance of just dying because of a the the Bigfoot itself is an anomalous. The virus the Bigfoot has is anomalous, oh, and no. it kills people that see it. And then you read this whole thing about how this all happens, and then you get to classic class three or level three class cl- yeah level three security clearance or higher, and it says all of that was bullshit. Here's why we do this because they're smarter than us and they're trying to get back in. That's why we sell people not to interact and yada 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 and we report everything and capture them at sight and like real life government stuff. And it's like yeah, how you really expect people to treat it. So if you want to hear more about that, we're going to definitely go into aliens next time. Yeah. Uh like deep dive into aliens. Maybe there'll be some Bigfoot. If Maybe you want some throwing some Bigfoots there. Tell us things you want us to talk about and give us your scary stories. And if you want to hear more on SCPs or anything like that, Hit us up. 
DM tell us, us how your grandma's ghost tickles your feet at night. Um, don't tell me about that. Probably. Tell I want to know about that. You can leave that in our email at so, <laughs> darkrumstories <laughs> at gmail dot com or DM me at darkrumpodcast at darkrumpodcast on Instagram or send me messages at darkrumpodcast on Twitter. And then uh, I'm Turtle. I'm Kyle. Uh, have a great day. Stay fucking weird, you fucking losers. Um, or, you know, just be yourself and don't be a loser. <laughs> <laughs>